Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson of the Arabic language. This is lesson number 19. So today we're going to talk about numbers. This is the first lesson about numbers. I'm going to talk about the numbers from 0 to 10. So let's get going. So let's see. Here are the numbers that most of you guys are familiar with. This is the numbers from 1 to 0. A combination of these digits, let's say, can produce any number. So basically, let's see how we write it in Arabic. We, we are familiar with these, sometimes we write these, but in the Middle East there is another numeric system that we are more familiar with, and I'm going to write right now the numbers, and I will going to tell you the name later on. So for the number one, this is how we write it. It's a stick, like that. Number two, like this. Number three, kind of like the letter seen. It's kind of three notches and you go down. Number four, it's like so. Number five is a circle. So, so some people, a lot of people actually, uh, if you're not, if, if I'm not sure if you're writing in Arabic or English numbers, sometimes I would mistaking the zero for a five in Arabic. So, 5 is just a circle, 6 is like so, 7 is a V, that's very easy, 8 is an inverse V, so it looks downward, and 9 is very similar to the normal 9, but the stick goes straight ahead, it doesn't curve at all, and 0 is just a dot. So, what are the names of these numbers? Okay, so the names are 1 in Arabic is Wahid or you might hear it Wahidun Wahid or Wahidun Now, the second one is Ithnan Ithnan or Ithnain or Ithnani. So you might hear it differently. That's totally grammatical kind of issue. So basically, number two is Ithnan or Ithnain. Number, th number three is Thalathun or Thalathatun. Number four is Arbaun or Arbaatun. Number five is Khamsun or Khamsatun. Number six is Sittatun or Sittun. Number seven is Sabon or Sabatun. Number eight is Thamanun or Thamaniatun. Number nine is Tisun or Tisatun zero is sifr sifrun. Okay, so I'm going to say them again, maybe in different fashion. Anyways, it's wahid, ifnan, thalatha, arba, khamsa, sitta, saba, thamania, tisa, sifr. And the number ten, which is just one zero is written like this and it's called Ashrun Ashara Ashara so it's either Ashara or you might hear it Ashrun depending on the sentence depending on many things but regularly it's just Ashara so it's Wahid Ithnan Thalatha Arba Khamsa Sitta Saba Thamania Tisa Sifr and we have Ashara okay I think that's sufficient for now and let's move on to the part where it's a bit of an exercise so um, here's the deal I'm going to show you um, how to write the number in a letter for form like uh, how to write like one is like that right in English so I'm going to show you how to write that in Arabic but what what will happen let's take number one for example you see, I um, did not connect the letters, so I'm leaving 
this a kind of uh, of an exercise for you so I'm going to give you five seconds before I start writing it the correct way I'm going to pronounce it once and twice and three times and then give you five seconds and write it and there will be a, f a pause if you would like to pause the video it's up to you okay so this number is the number one it's written like that and it's pronounced wahid or wahidun or again wahid so I'm going to write wahidun here goes and I'm going to add alamat al tashkil okay so this is how you connect these three letters so this is kind of a training for you to uh, for the previous letters of the alphabets about connecting the letters okay this is number one wahid number two number two is written like this and it's pronounced either <coughs> ifnan which is here and or ifnain which is here or you might hear it ifnani which is just a difference of alamat al tashkil anyway so again I'm going to pronounce it give you a pause then write it ifnan ifnani ifnaini so I'm going to write ifnani and ifnaini okay here goes if nani and if I connect these ones just if nani and I'm going to add alamat al tashkil so it's if nani and if nani okay if nani if nani and again the let the number is written like this okay so it looks like I might have to do this into two parts anyways let's go next is number three so number three here number three is written again like like that and these are the letters that compose the letter and just to save time I'm going to say it it's thalath thalathun or thalathatun or thalatha thalathun thalathatun thalatha thalath I'm going to write thalathun and thalathatun here goes Thalathun Thalathatun Add alamat al tashkil very quickly Thalathun Thalathatun Remember that a tanween can be written the double dhamma can be written this way or that way okay So I'm running about uh, I'm running out of time. So I'm going to do a second part for the rust. See you soon.